on guys joey cuz going back at you again today and yes i'm back in the uh shed for today but i know i've been a little uh little scarce on youtube lately you know one because youtube's screwing around with everybody it's kind of frustrating because you don't know what you know is going to get uh flagged or whatever and uh two you know i've been busy working it's uh getting to that part of the summer where it's getting to be a lot for me and uh I finally got a free moment, so I figured I'd take this opportunity while I had the free moment to uh, show you the battle box that I just got, Mission 42, which is their uh, tracking box, and I know Smile Money is uh, old giddy as a schoolgirl right now because he loves when I do these unboxings, so why don't we go down to the bench and I'll give you a quick look at what's inside Mission 42. Alright guys, well, here we go. This is the Mission 42 the tracking box now right off the bat I've never done any tracking before so this one's gonna be pretty interesting to see uh, you know exactly what's inside of it so anyway let's open up the box and find out what's in it let's move this out of the way and Obviously, first thing you get is the card, which basically tells you exactly what's in the box. So you guys can see that. And then on the back, it's their sit rep. You know, it gives you a little brief uh, rundown on, I guess, like uh, situational type things that you can use this stuff for. And yeah, you guys can read it, whatever. Do what you want, but let's start off with the uh, basic box because you get four different tiers you have your basic advanced pro and pro plus this is the pro plus which i always get because i do like the knives that they give out so let's uh start off with the basic which is a 25 dollar value oh sorry cost 25 dollars and then you know it's a it's saying it's a 45 dollar value so first off you get the sas tracking handbook which is this right here now <clears throat> if you start to flip through it you know it'll give you you know chapters obviously give you a whole bunch of stuff I'm gonna guess let's see what else maybe see if there's like an index on it yeah there we go there's a whole bunch of information you know what is tracking how it's used understanding basic skills then I guess it uh, gives you like a border patrol, military tracking, you know, how they use tracking dogs, animals, you know, urban tracking, all stuff like that. So it's a, obviously it's a pretty thick read. So, and let's see how you can track for eating, hunting. And then, you know, it gives you a little rundown on the back. So that's the first thing. Second is the UST Learn and Live tracking cards. Where are those? Here they are. And <clears throat> that's them. And what these are, you know, it gives you a little picture on the back, shows you. It gives you a card with some uh, animal tracks, and then it shows you what animal it belongs to. So I guess you can keep this in your pack. So if you find tracks, you can kind of identify what's, uh, what's around you, what's near you, what's coming after you. Who knows? You know, you're alone in the woods. You got to find out what's what's there. So you got that. Let's see. And then you have the Animal Tracks Casting Kit. Now, that's what this is. And I've done something like this when I was a kid when I used to go camping. And basically, all, it's, all it is, it's uh, like a, like plaster. So open it up and find out what, what's inside this one. They give you like a little ring that you would put around the you know the uh the print animal track that you would find them and then you have plaster that you would just add water to mix it up and then you would pour it right into here and it would make the cast of the actual print you know print that you found which is pretty cool like i said i remember doing that when i used to go camping as a kid we used to do stuff like that and, <clears throat> oh, and on the back of the paper it actually gives you a whole bunch of different you know tracks that you can find wow wolverine huh 
wildcat, otter, a weasel, a wood mouse, huh? A house mouse? Hmm. Oh, well, anyway, it gives you a whole bunch of little things, you know, so that you can identify what you just made your cast of. So, this would be something that I could say you'd probably do with my son. Something like that. So, you got that in there. Put that to the side. And what's next? The Wazoo Tracking Field Kit, that WTF bandana, which is this right here. And let's open it up. Pretty much it's two things in this one. It's a bandana and a bracelet. Now, if we can get it open, it'd be nice. So, paper out. Okay, well, here's your bandana. Now you open it up, and just like that, you have some animal prints. So not only could you wipe your forehead when you're sweating your rear end off in the woods, you can also find out what animals are near you with, you know, this bandana gives you a little uh, rundown of what each print is, what animal. So you get that. And then, <clears throat> what's in here? Pretty much tells you what the kit includes. A little, little information on the kit. Then you have this bracelet. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the slap bracelets, but that's what this is, and they give you a ruler on it. So you got a little, little way of uh, measuring, and uh, when you're done, well, you don't do that. When you're done, you can put it back on your wrist. So you don't lose it and then you know you can always open it back up and voila there's your little ruler so you got something like that with the bandana let's fold this back up And just like that, you know, you can fold it up a little bit tight and then you put the bracelet back around it. And, you know, it's pretty compact. So you got that as well. And last, you have in the basic box, the Fire Tracks Reflective Trail Markers. Now, I actually saw these. They did like a little spoiler video on them. And here you go. You got little uh, tracker markers. You did like the... Reflective thumbtacks, you could say, because then you could just, you know, put it on a tree. And supposedly these things have some really good, um, like, uh, distance as far when it comes to actually, like, physically seeing them. Ah, uh, it's not physically, visually seeing them. Wow. I'm a little uh, out of it today, but gives you the info on the back. And, uh, oh, let's see if they're, just what they look like in the bag. They're... I don't know if that's coming up pretty good on how reflective they are, but you have that. So, 3D trail markers. And I believe there's like 12, in, 12 of them in here. You have uh, six triangles and uh, six squares. So you have uh, like a 3D and a 4D, I guess you would say. Yeah, six tacks. So, that's that. And that would be the end of the basic box. Now, as far as the advanced box goes there's two things in there one is the Bershka Lucid 8x21 binoculars which are these right here it comes in a nice little uh, nice little pack you get some paperwork on how to use them and you get a cleaning cloth for it as well so you get that in the box now you get obviously it's got its own little carrying case it's got a belt loop on it so you can put on your belt take them out get rid of the paper 
We don't need it anymore. And here you go. Nice little compact little set of binoculars. Now, I was actually playing with these before I did this video. And, you know, they work pretty damn good. I mean, just, f you know, you got like this little cheap, uh, like, uh, you know, put around your neck. Wow, I'm really uh, fumbling and bumbling on this one. But they, they actually work pretty good. I mean, here you have a little adjustment. And here's another adjustment knob for uh, focusing. <clears throat> and then you just, you know, close them back up. And you put them back in the pack. Just like that. And voila. Now, as I was saying, you know, I was playing with these earlier. And you do get a very nice, crisp, you know, image out of these things. It's not blurry. It's very, it's actually very nice. <clears throat> so, there is that. Now, what did I do with the card? Here it is. Now, the second item in the advanced box is the Battletech Dual Flag and Tape Dispenser. Which is this right here. It almost looks like it's a cleaning kit. Get rid of that. <clears throat> now here, you know, you'd open it up and you get two different types of uh, flagging tape with the uh, divider. And on the bottom, you have the uh, two grommets that you would pull the tape through. So obviously you would uh, set it up. It has uh, clips on it, so molly clips. So you can put it on your belt, on the on pack or whatever you want. And obviously, if you're going through the woods or whatever, and you want to mark something, you would just pull it out. Let's see if I uh, set this up real quick, just to give you a little example. Okay, well, I got the uh, you know the orange set up. So basically, all you would do is if you find something, you would just you know pull down and tear it off and then tie this around whatever you want to tie it around so you can mark like uh, a blood spot you know your the way you came so you can find your way back you know stuff like that and you like I said you would also have a, a green one also and you know this very easy to change out you know just open it back up and then you put the next roll back in put a new roll in so you have that the uh, battle tech Military and tactical gear. So there you go with that. Now, move that to the side. Now we move up to the Pro Box. The uh, Pro Box is a hundred dollar box, and it's saying it's worth one hundred and fifty bucks. So the first, there's actually two things with this one. Sorry, three. Nightshade five twenty HL tracking headlamp. And they also included batteries for it as well. So they gave you a full pack of batteries. They gave you, uh, you know, that never heard of that brand, but, you know, give you a full pack of triple A's. And hopefully you guys can read that. And it also tells you, you know, don't, not, no direct eye exposure. You could, could, your eyes will melt out like an Indiana Jones. So. Um, here we go. So here is the actual headlamp. It's got you know an adjustable headband. You know, it says nightshade on it. And like I said, this is a, a tracking headlamp, and it doesn't have a normal, you know, a white LED. It, I'll see if I can do this without you know killing you. It actually has a green LED. And, uh, not, not even LED. I think this is saying this is direct eye exposure to the beam. Yeah, it's almost like a, a green laser type of a, a beam coming out of it. So you don't want to look directly into the green light. But, you know, I don't know how good that's coming up. But you can see the green. And then you would press it again. It would give you, you know, your regular white. And then you would have your red. So you got a couple different options here. And then, you know, you click click it again and it gives you all three and yeah and then if you double click it gives you one of those 
then you click it again it gives you um, a strobe for the green light and the other two lights still uh, alternate so that's uh, what you get with that so that's like I said from a nightshade so we have one more item in the pro box which is the survival first tracking kit which is this guy right here more bags to throw away okay now this also comes with it too this was supposed to be inside of it but I don't think it the uh, guy in time or whatever but this is one of those right in the rain pads so you got one of those with it And you open it up, you know, you got some uh, more flagging tape. Like I said, you have your uh, pad. Oh, there's another pad in here, so... Oh, it is an all-weather no pad, so I actually got two of them. Then You have yourself a little uh, signal mirror. Uh, marker. Um, marking flags. Let's see what else we got. Um, what the hell is this? Aha, a mini flashlight, which I guess is what that fourth battery is for. Does this one have it? Let's see. There you got this nice little flashlight. See if it changes. Nah, basically I think it's just one mode. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. But get a little flashlight. See what else is in here. Oh. Uh, it's just a little cheap tape measure. Obviously, uh, pull it out and press the button tracks so you got yourself a little tape measure and a compass so it's a it's a pretty cool little little kit um would it be something i'd uh you know bet my life on who knows but it's something i guess you would say so that's the uh survival first Yes, uh, survival first. Uh, what the hell is it? Survival first tracking kit. So that's that. Now, this is the whole reason why I get the Pro Plus. Now, comes, like I said, it's a Pro Plus. This is what they consider the knife of the month club. And it's another knife from uh, Tops Knives. It is the Tom Brown Tracker 4. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, I've done a video on the Tom Brown Tracker 2, which I... Let's get rid of that box. That I currently have to begin with. And this is the Tom Brown Tracker 2. Pretty, uh, pretty, uh, nice knife. And this is their Tracker 4, which is a mini, a uh, smaller, way smaller version of their Tracker 2. So they have a couple knives in the Tracker series. And now I'm trying to remember, but I think this color is exclusive to BattleBox because I know, I believe this one was also. So you get this nice little, uh, nice little knife. Like I said, it comes with its own little sheath. And you got yourself a nice little belt clip, which obviously you can uh, change so that you can... Uh, you know, carry it, or you can take it off and make it a neck knife. Now, let's just give you a little up close of the two of them together. So you can see this is, you know, and this is actually not even the biggest one that they make. There's one bigger than this. So, I mean, they also have multi functions with this, like this right here is like a sole blade. Now, Will it cut through a piece of wood? No. It's basically made for notching. Uh, you have uh, 
two obviously you got two different blades on here you got this curved one and then you got this fly one basically this one's used for skinning and you know this is for everything else um is it good for this be good for patoning i'd say no because it's too small that one works pretty good so this one you figure you know maybe maybe wears a neck knife more often than not but i really do like this all right guys well here it is Mission 42 of uh, BattleBox, the uh, tracking box. Now, will I use this stuff? Um, probably not as of now. Uh, would I like to learn how to use it? Yes. Like I said, I've never done any hunting or anything like that as far as tracking goes. So, me, I have no idea what, what to do. This book will probably come in handy because, you know, it would be a nice read to um, possibly learn how to do it. Uh, but also, too, you know, the best learning is actually physically doing it. Especially in my case, I was always uh, more on the physical end of learning stuff than reading. You know, for some strange reason, I couldn't comprehend reading. But anyway, rambling. You know, this little uh, casting kit would actually be pretty cool to do with my son. So, you know, there's a couple cool little handy things in here. I actually do like this uh, this light. And I believe that also glows in the dark, which I forgot to mention earlier, too. So, but like I said, if you guys want to check out BattleBox, you know, go to their website. You could um, pick any tier you want. You don't have to do the Pro Plus. Uh, I mean, like I said, I do the Pro Plus because they give you some really cool knives. And a majority, majority of the time, the knife is worth what the box costs. So, I believe they said this one is like $120. I mean, granted, you could probably find it maybe $90, $100 somewhere else. So... I mean, yeah, it, it all depends on what you want to do. So, I guess that's basically it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the unboxing of Mission 42 of BattleBox. So, with uh, that being said, I am going to uh, talk to you guys later. Or maybe I should start hunting wabbits. Uh, that was lame. <laughs>